Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. We're actually on the main network today, and you can see the big, beautiful new Nether Island right in front of me. Today marks 280 days since the release of the Crystal Hollows, the last major content update of Hypixel Skyblock. And that all ends today, boys and girls. The Nether update is finally rolling. Pretty much everything is out except the island. It's not quite ready yet. I did try and TP over to see if we could get like a sneak preview of it and yeah you can just about see the start of it before the game sends you back to spawn until the island opens we're just going to go through the rest of the update so the number one main thing is this new building here on the way to the coliseum where we meet maxwell the thaumaturgist basically he has absolutely killed accessories they work totally differently now it's really weird and a tad confusing but i think i've kind of got it down so i can explain it to tens of thousands of people and they trust my every word right you now gain magic power on your accessory bag based on how many accessories you have and how many of them are recombobulated. But essentially, you go in and you speak with Maxwell. Now you can choose preset reforges for your accessory bag. I'm pretty sure they get stronger depending on how much magical power you have and you unlock them based on your combat level. But you can also learn power from reforged stones. So say for example, if I go in my backpack and I pull out nine of these dark orbs here, I can actually go in and learn the shaded power and I click here. Now I've unlocked the shaded power and that will show up here. So that will give me 19 speed, 150 strength and 563 crit damage. It also gains three attack speed now and three ferocity. So not too bad at all. But you also get one tuning point for every 10 magic power that you have. Because I have 958 magical power, we have 95 tuning points. So you can go in here and assign tuning points to each individual stat as well. So say if I wanted to, I could just go in and whack all of my points on strength and just get a ton of strength. I really like the builds you can make make with this overall though it is a nerf to accessories but there are new power stones that will unlock like ridiculous reforges i think it's a short term nerf long term buff maybe for weaker players it's actually even a buff but i like how you can go in there and specifically give yourself individual little stats it definitely feels like you're a bit more in control of your player and it feels a lot more intuitive to do but yeah that basically means the death of the reforges on the accessories themselves you can see they say shaded but they do absolutely nothing and i'm pretty sure there's an NPC in here that will actually refund all of those coins that I spent on those. Yeah, we get 5 million coins back for all of our reforges. May as well take it. One of these guys, I'm pretty sure you can buy an upgrade from. Feature is disabled. Bruh, I've waited so long for this. This is probably one of the most hyped parts of the update for me. And the feature is disabled. By the way, to max that, I'm pretty sure it gives you six pages in your accessory bag and also costs around 2 billion coins. But you get a free accessory after like five upgrades. So that's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what my stats would have been before and after. Shall I try like hitting something? 1.1 mil. Oh, my damage has gone down, you know, by like two or 300k. While we're here and waiting, we may as well hop into our backpack and learn these crafts as well. So Silky's 751 crit damage. Oh, damn. I actually think Silky looks like it's better than Shaded. Let's see how much damage we do at the graveyard with Silky. 1.3. We're back to 1.3, boys. I basically lost no damage. All right, we're sweet. Speaking about the new power stones, there's now three new sections on the bazaar for power stones. You have low reforged stones, high reforged stones, which are the actual kind of decent ones, like the toil log, the precursor gear and stuff. I really like how that's actually in the bazaar now. And finally, you have the power stones. And this is where things are got to get proper funky. You got like scorched bucks, vitamin death, hazmat enderman, eccentric painting, precious pearl, horns of torment. I mean, they just sound mean. I'm guessing this is going to be the new best reforged stone considering it's mythic. At 1,000 magical power, 271 strength, 310 crit damage, 58 attack speed, and 7 ferocity. Oh, that's actually pretty good. If we look at the starter powers, these are really nice stats to have for a new player. and You don't have to figure out the reforged system and get a ton of accessories and understand all this complicated system anymore. That's really nice. Then you get intermediate, I guess once you hit a certain magical power or combat level. Ominous is good, you know, 45 attack speed, but I think commando is the best out of all of those that's a lot of strength and crit damage and then you have the advanced ones which you must get from the stones actually no silky's only intermediate and i got that from the stone as well yeah i think i'm gonna stick with silky till we get the new stones wait can we go to the spider's den it's there it's so beautiful to look at on the main server dude i mean obviously i've seen it before on the alpha but it just hits different actually seeing it it's open what you can go in no bait no scam 
My chat didn't bait me for once. Oh my god, it's happening. I'm doing the owl quest immediately. Don't judge me, chat, but I will be joining the mage faction for the purposes of this stream because the mage quest is a lot easier to do and less RNG dependent than the burst faction. I don't really feel like fishing for potentially hours. Two specs does three blaze ashes, four magma chunks. Yeah, let's do that. All right, L, I've ran your errands for you. So now what we have to do is visit both areas, the mage area and the buzz area. And I think we have to speak with their respective leaders. Two different factions with incredible tensions between them. They don't mind travelers, but you have to earn their trust before you can do such things. In fact, you'll have to choose a faction, but it's a bit early for that. Yeah, I gotta go visit the buzz faction and then we'll come back and choose mage oh i can't believe i'm doing this to myself ah uh, who am i kidding i'm a minecraft youtuber i have no self-respect and uh, oh man you must have met maddox both maddox and his brother are in fact from scarleton but contrary to the other inhabitants the two brothers were born without any magical aptitudes you know, losers wait why am i being given a bat phone bring this to the dean of the academy in scarleton i'm sure he'll find it quite interesting okay well i haven't done this quest before which is nice because i did the barbarian one on the alpha so it's actually a good thing i'm doing this one even if it does disgust me hello mr dean you are not one of my students. I'm a bit too old, mate. Let me write you a letter of recommendation. Hey, we're getting into college, boys. A letter of recommendation from Dean advocating for a fraction to join the mage faction. Let's go, dude. Yo, yo, yo. Why are you here? I'm here to cause trouble, of course. I'm here to pulverize all right i have a letter of recommendation i like how we're doing a full-on quest though this is something i've wanted ever since we did that romero and juliet thing now go and enjoy our great city new faction member you join the mage faction oh that looks disgusting in tab all right udel you must be a refraction my cousin told me you'd come by my place yes brother i'm here for the new 13 pro max 95.5 million coins and i could just buy that one but that's just not me is it Awesome. Call the Dean with your Abbey phone. What if I just want to play some Snake, bro? Oh, these controls are the worst. Yeah, I'm done. We're, we're calling Dean. I'm trash at the game. Listen, I don't have a lot of time right now. The object of my current research has just been stolen. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. For the bar side, the first mission you do is actually steal a letter from the Dean. So I like how that syncs up, actually. That's really cool. L, hello, my dude. My objective arrow is pointing over here. Why are you just walking over here? Stop. Stop. She, she's just doing her own thing, bro. Wait, why did Al just disappear? Even the NPCs are running away from Cal. He can't get women in Minecraft, lol. Oof. It was a fake Al that ran away from me. Yes, I will help you. Take my contact. Hey, you all thought I just got a digits, baby. I do have an idea where that stolen research might be. Follow me. Hey, we got the digits though. Hey, 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 what's she saying? Yo, well, you see this giant dragon skull inside the barbarian faction? I do indeed. The barbarians built their bastion inside the skeleton, and I suspect this is where the stolen art object is guarded. Maybe you could sneak in and recover the item without getting seen and creating a major diplomatic incident, of course. Ooh, a little stealth mission. I'm so bad at these, bro. I load up Hitman. I'm literally just gunning down everybody. I don't even care. Wait, how does he not see me? Oh, I'm sorry for insulting you and your people. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I'm guessing to the middle. We'll wait for this guy to turn his back and then we'll make a run for it. Ooh. You actually suck, dude. You've just been finessed by me. Oh, it's not even the middle. We gotta go over here. <gasps> Aha! I think we got it, boys. Let's go. Now I gotta wait for a phone call from Bay. That's the end of the mage quest for me. I can't get a call back. Oh my god, L's actually calling me. Have you got the research back? Of course. You're cooler than you look. We're in chat. Yo, this looks like I'm in some kind of cult right now. I don't like this. Also, why am I like sliding on the floor? I can fly? Have I just been putting creative mode or something? Yo, this is dope. If this is part of being the mage faction, I, I can kind of dig it. Oh. oh, you can only fly when you're in the meeting. That's unfortunate. And I missed the entire thing. All my chickens are gone. What does this have to do with the main quest? How am I suddenly doing this? I'm helping to herd chickens now? Bro, do you know who I am? I've slain the Wither King hundreds of times and you're asking me to hunt for chickens? Oh, man. What if I just like... Oh, he's straight up just invincible. Home to five very naughty chickens. What is this place? We got Hennifer, Chikira, 
Henrietta, get out of here. You just saved my business. I got you, brother man. Oh, now we're just going around making friends with the whole town. This is beautiful. I have quite the reputation around here. Well, I ain't got a clue who you are, man. You see, I'm the best lava fisher in the world. I mean, the update's only been out for like an hour, bro. I'd like to show it to Wadka, but I hurt my feet badly. Would you mind taking it? I got you, bro, because I actually know where this guy is. Take this, my man. <laughs> This from Odexar? Yep, bad. Don't want to work on fish. Wait, I have to fish anyway, even on this? I joined Mages, so I don't have to fish. It is what it is. I'm guessing you get the volcanic fish from the volcano. Oh, literally first try. Mud is much better than that loser Odexar's. Now, I am the greatest trophy fisher in all of the realms. 80 coins. You can tell he's a fisherman. I was about to call you. I've almost completed my research. However, I need a few extra components. These ones are going to be tougher to obtain, though. The first ingredient I need is a hallowed skull. It's obtained from a blade soul. Are the mini bosses spawning? Yes, I haven't seen any of them. Come on, blade soul. Please be here. No. I can't do any more of my quest then. We may as well just go into the dojo and try out the challenges while we wait. Now I gotta take my armor off, take my pet off, and speak with Master Tao. White belts, 10 health, 5 defense, and reduces damage taken by 0.5%. OP, man. I mean, once you get that up to the black belt, it actually reduces damage by quite a bit. So I do think the dojo is worth doing. Let's do test of force. Come on, let me end with 690. No, so close to perfection. I only got a B. Test of stamina. Oh, I suck. Do you know what? We're going into test of mastery. I've never been good with a bow, so this is absolutely not my thing. But hey, we got this. Green targets are worth eight. Yellow are worth 16. And red are worth 32 points. We're only hitting reds, boys. I missed. We got an A that time, though. How many of these do I have to do before I get my next belt? Oh, I've got my yellow belt then. I'm gonna get comma XP for it as well. How much do we need for the black belt then? 7,000 points. I'm already at 2,000. What's this one? Hit the mob with the correct... With the correct what? Every 30 seconds, gain a new type of sword. Don't hit the mob with the wrong sword. Oh, we just have to hit them with the right sword, basically. This is actually kind of cool. I do like this. The dojo is such a good way to, like, waste time in this game. Like, if you have nothing you want to do, you can spend so much time in here and go for the leaderboards and grind belts and stuff. I feel like this could be a decent score. If I don't get an A on this, I'm going to be furious. Yeah, that's what I thought. Test of swiftness. Let's do this one. Oh, this is getting a bit intense, you know. Oh, oh, it's throwing. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's try this one then. A gas shoots fireballs at you. Earn points by avoiding fireballs over time. Don't trip and fall into lava. Easy, bro. Can I not just bat them back at him? Play a bit of tennis? Oh, they're not the right kind of fireballs. <laughs> oh, and now we got four ghasts. Oh, well, we can get our green belt. Almost our blue belt. Let's get our blue belt, actually. I guess you just have to beat your old score and get more points to get a higher tier belt, right? My score's pretty low on stamina. We'll try stamina again. So to get your black belt, essentially, you have to get like an A rank on all of them, right? That's actually a pretty good system. I like that. Oh, wait, there's an S rank as well. You need a thousand. So for the black belt, you essentially need to get like an S in everything. Oh, that's kind of difficult, actually. Oh, we're on a roll, boys. How much score did I need to get the next belt? Belt? No, no, no. Let me jump into the lava so it counts. Okay, it counted. I didn't even get I hate this. I might go back on the test of tenacity. This one I felt like I was just being lazy with. We got to pay a little bit more attention and we're all good with it. Yo, this is difficult, you know. I think I got enough score to maybe get my belt. Yeah, I did. Blue belt, 25 health, 15 defense and reduces damage taken by 4%. You know what? That's actually respectable for how easy that was to get. We can do our daily quest. We got to fetch, fishing, rescue, wanted and dojo. You know what? While I'm naked, we may as well do our dojo mission. You completed your dojo quest. Visit the town board to claim the rewards yes sir bro i can't believe it's taken them this long but they finally added daily quests it's beautiful i love daily quests it gives you a reason to just log in and do something other than run around the hub in circles and i am about that boom 30 mage rep 2000 xp and five kada leads what on earth do you even do with this medium nether sack ah yes this is what we need boys yeah we're doing more of these mage outlaw can't do that yet i can do that i can do that and I can do that. What can you do with reputation? Reputation is what you use to be able to do the Kudra fight. I don't really think it has much of a purpose beyond that. But 
if you don't grind reputation, you can't do the higher tier Kudra, which is obviously where the better drops and stuff are. So yeah, you absolutely do need reputation. I'm going to do my dailies every single day. And I don't know what other ways of grinding reputation there are. I guess from side quests. On the alpha, you used to be able to stab the opposing factions members that were wandering around just for reputation, but that was a bug. So they should have patched that. But yeah, reps actually going to be kind of difficult to grind, you know? Well, not difficult, just slow. You also need 12k rep for T12 minions. Oh, you do? Blaze Slayer is out on main. <gasps> Blaze Slayer's here. Oh my God, let's go. All right, let's buy ourselves a moody grapple shot. You know what? I think we can kill the first one without much extra gear. We'll just see how it goes and adjust our strategy from there. All right, let's go. First Infernal Demon Lord Tier 1, and it's just going to pretty much be a one-tap. We love that. <laughs> We're going to have to grind up the Blaze 1, though, and then we can craft the daggers and get on the T2s. Oh, I can't wait to have these daggers. Blaze Slayer Level 1, permanent plus 3 health, droplet wisp recipe. We don't get the dagger recipes till Level 2. Oh, that's long, bro. And Blaze Slayer Level 2, permanent plus 1 strength, molten powder, and the daggers recipes. I might just do what I did on the alpha and put one for all on both of them for the time being. Then upgrade them and see if they keep the end chance. And if they do, then I'll like max them out with T7 end chance and everything, right? And we at least have the fire dust dagger. One out of two of them. There we go. This is disgustingly underwhelming for a refraction sword once again. But hey, it will get the job done. I then spent the next hour of the stream trying to find just eight enchanted sulfur to craft the twilight dagger but there was literally none on the server i had desperately set up buy orders and was frantically searching around in my friends list and my chat to find enchanted sulfur when finally this happened <gasps> wait enchanted sulfur you can buy a stack for a bill eight boom boom manage orders cancel oh, i didn't realize my order filled no now I have too much. Sell offer. Get rid of five of them. Wait, it took all of them for 63 coins. Ah, no. Now I've officially skill issued. We just set fire to so much money. While we're here, we can just say goodbye to another 2 billion coins if you all want, because apparently this NPC is working now, where we can upgrade our accessory bag at long last. Clearly, I am just in that mood. Why not? Give me all of it. Yep, give me the talisman and everything. What do we get? 10 health and one pet. Look, sweet. Thank you, my guy. Oh my God, I spent nearly a billion and it's just still going. And there we go, boys. You reached the maximum amount of Jacobus upgrades. That was not a smart business decision. Well, let me see my accessory bag. Oh, it's glorious. I can finally take all of this out. There's my Twilight Dagger. I think we're all good now. All right, here we go, boys. First property to. The only thing is I have to figure out how to get attack speed. Also, what the hell just happened to my health? Do I really need a sorrow chest plate for a T2? Oh, I wasn't going to be that down horrendous. Yeah, this is so much easier with a sorrow chest plate on. I did not expect it to do that much. But there we go. Oh, I got Scorch Bugs. Oh, wow. That's actually a really nice power stone for Blaze Slayer. Gives you a ton of attack speed without losing too much strength and crit damage and seven ferocity. But I think with that, boys, we're going to have to call the stream there. And I'll see you all soon with more nether content. Peace.